Okay, we're back to our Webster uh, two-speed mini changer here, and uh, you heard the expression shines like a new penny. Well, that's what we have here. This is a really nice, uh, it's a steel chassis, but heavily copper plated to give it a real nice glow. Now that it's clean anyway, we can see what the heck's going on. Uh, obviously, I have the turntable off it because it's hard to see what's going on with the turntable in place. Um, everything is controlled. The arm motion and everything is controlled by this cam right here, which just nicely threw the arm into my way, but that's okay. It gives you an idea of how it works. Anyway, this also, not only does this go back and forth with the uh, being inside the track of the turntable here, this permanent part of the turntable, you can see the cam race in there. The cam race also has high and low areas on it. Because this, not only is this, is this plate a guide for the arm, it's also a, what they call a wobble plate. And then by pressing down on this, it also creates the lifting motion of the tone arm. And then as the cam moves that way, it pushes the arm out of the way. And you can see there's a groove down there in the riser that catches the post of the tone arm to trap it to move it. To the, to the out of the way position so that it can uh, drop a record and then bring it back down and then set it back down again. And the reason it's flopping in like that is because I don't have a turntable on it. There's nothing to stop the arm from going too far. Also, this here is the trip. This is the, uh, the velocity trip that we've talked about so many times at the bottom of the tone arm right there. This is just a lead weight right here. This is just a lead weight that sits on top of this the, the uh, trip lever then there's a felt washer and then a copper collar and a brass collar and that's all there is to that the trip lever itself is over here and here's the end of the end of the trip lever right here and what this does is as the arm is moving the friction allows that trip arm to move with the arm like see they move together and it's only a friction fit so it doesn't put any uh doesn't put any uh load on the arm and it won't make it skip when it gets to this point, it hits the trip lever, ding, like that, and it knocks this little cam dog into the bottom of the tone arm here, or the uh, turntable rather, here. It hits this little shelf here, which forces the motion of the turntable to start the whole change operation. And that's where this cam, this post uh, that sits in the cam at the bottom of the turntable goes into play again. It tips it up to lift the arm. It pushes down as well as guiding it through the channels to push it over to the side, drop a record, and then come back down again and play the record. And now we're about ready to put this thing all back together again and hope that the spindle drops the records correctly. And uh, and I don't know if we're going to do that today because today's uh, uh, this, today's the day I have to do shopping for the for the folks. They don't get out anymore, and uh, they're in their 80s, so I have to do all the shopping for them and everything. So we may not get back to this till tomorrow, but we may get back to it today. There's just no no way to know, but doubtful. It'll probably be tomorrow. But anyway, we're really getting close now. Um, somebody's going to be happy about this. <laughs> hey, Glenn. Okay, see you later.